how is Vince proposing to blow up the model of a successful television show? Well, he, this was another thing. When, when I talked to him, I said, so he's, it wasn't in the script, as you can imagine. It wasn't in the script about the change of Walter White, the transformation. It was just that he was going to do this one thing, this he was going to make crystal meth like this one time, make some money, give it to his family, and then die. Uh, but he told me in the meeting, well, I'm going to try to change him from, from Mr. Chips to Scarface. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> and I said, so he's going to be a different person from the time we first meet him to the end of the show? He goes, yeah, if they'll let me. <laughs> I mean, it was that much. He, I don't know. <laughs> and I thought, and I stopped there and I said, what? Vince, you realize that no one has ever done this before. Because television has always been about stasis, about having that assurance that these characters, oh, I can depend on them. It's different stimuli, but the same, you know, Thomas Magnum or Archie Bunker or whomever, Ross and Rachel, they're, you know, it's like, oh, they're, they're, it, and there's comfort in that. And it, I get it. But what he was attempting to do was wipe that all out and what we present in the beginning was not going to be what you experience in the end. And that was unbelievably exciting to, to look at. 